Hello, hello. How are you? I hope you're doing good. I do. So, got my coffee. And I hope you go get a drink or a snack or whatever is your preference at the moment. Sit back, relax, and let's hang out for a bit and chit chat. What I am doing today is... Friday First Impressions. Mm. Cheers to that. So, I'm going to put my coffee over here. Happy Friday, everybody. I hope you had a very good week. I do. And I'm excited for this week's Friday First Impressions. I am. I've got a nice mixture of a little bit of skincare and a little bit of makeup and so yeah I got a nice little mix this week and I'm really liking some of the products I picked out so let's get to it and see what I got for this week I have got my Sharpie so that I can mark my items with my current rating of what I feel about them. I will rate each of them on a scale of one to five. One being bleh, poo poo, yucka doo doo, and five being absolutely awesome. So, what shall I pick first? Hmm, oh, well, actually, before I do that, let me show you what I used for my eye look today. So I've been reorganizing my palettes. I got some more um, baskets and square baskets. So I've got them all like stacked up nice and in order so I can rotate them and stuff like that and in doing so and organizing I pulled out and came across some palettes that I have not used in a minute so it was a lot of fun um, going through them and picking which one I want to use now what the one I use today is I believe by Rude it's this Leopardina palette. And on the back are these gorgeous colors and some highlighters. Now, ooh, here is the, ooh, it's hair. Okay, here are the colors. Now, I have not heard of this brand before, and it's got a good size mirror too, um, but I have used this palette a few times, and but it's been a minute since I used it, but the colors are really pigmented. They blend beautifully, and hang on a minute. Let's see. Yeah, um, the one thing I will say, which was, hang on, all right, I got lashes on today, and they're not staying down. Um, I tried a new, um, a different kind of glue today in a new kit I got, and they're not cooperating. But anyway, um, I will say the number one ingredient in this palette is talc. So, um, I did want to point that out. It's not, um, there wasn't a ton of fallout. There wasn't a ton of kick up or anything like that. So the palette was easy to work with. Like I said, very pigmented, blended really nice. It wasn't blotchy or anything. So 
I didn't mind it. It really felt like a good quality palette. So if you have this and you haven't used it in a while, pull it out. She's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Let's get on to our first impressions. Now, I pulled out one of our Mana Kadar products. Now, this is a lash serum we got in our AIA Beauty Bundle, American Influencer Awards Beauty Bundle. And oh, I feel like... No, it's not. I feel like I can see... Um, I keep catching my eyelash out of the corner of my eye. Um, anyway, so beautiful packaging. Look at the um, the little gem at the top of this. And uh, it's like a pretty rose color. This is a, um, it is an eye serum, but it's got a nice spoolie on it. So it's so much easier to brush on your lashes than the ones with an actual little bitty brush. So I've actually enjoyed using it and I use it in the evening after I wash um, and cleanse my face. After I do all my skincare stuff, I do brush on um, the serum and then I also use it in the morning um, before, well no, after I moisturize and everything and I'll put the lash serum on and uh, let it sit. For a little bit before I do my makeup and everything because I don't want it to interfere with my mascara and stuff like that but um I haven't been using it very long so I kind of feel like I don't know what to rate it honestly because of the fact that it's got the spoolie um it seems like a good serum it goes on nicely um, however, I haven't really seen a difference, but it has only been like a week, week and a half. So I'm going to give this <laughs> the same thing I give a lot of my stuff, a four. Um, yeah, we'll go with four. Let me put that down on the bottom. There we go. Okay. Um, I want to love this. I want it to work. I definitely want, um, I mean, my lashes aren't that bad as it is. They're pretty full and they've got some decent length to them, but who doesn't want longer lashes? The heck, I sure would want them. But I'm not sure how it's going to work out. But the things that I do like about it, great packaging, really pretty with the gem on top. Really like that. Love the color. Love the spoolie. Makes it so much easier to apply. And also get the top and bottom of your lashes. Um, and I don't mean like your top lashes and your lower lashes. I mean, um, hang on. It makes it so much easier to, you know, not just, you know, brush it on from the bottom and up, but also come in from the top and get the top um, of your lashes. So it's so much easier to apply with the spoolie. So based on all of the th those things, I definitely give it a four. Now, when this is gone, if I haven't noticed much of a difference, I don't know if it's gonna stay at a four, but we will see. So if you, as of right now, I really like it, but because I don't know exactly how it's going to ultimately perform and I don't see that much of a difference as of yet, I can't give it a five. So that is my first item. It's the Mana Kadar Lash Serum. And I do really like it. Okay, next. Hmm. Okay, I've got a couple Tarte products. Okay, the first thing is, 
Now, I've been using this a while, and I know I've talked about it before, but I've never, it has not been up on any of my, excuse me, first impressions or reviews. So, I'm bringing it up today. It is the Tarte Double Duty Base Tape Primer. Now, this, I've been using, I've already gone through one, two, two or three sample sizes of it in addition to a full size like this. And now I'm just starting on this bottle. As you can see, I've only got a little bit gone of it. This, Mama gives this a five. Yes, sirree. And I do not believe that's going to be changing at any time soon. I absolutely love this primer. Love it. Um, it goes on so um, silky and moisturizing. And now... In the morning when I do my skincare, I put on a good moisturizer that I let sit and soak in first, and then I go in and I put my primer on. Um, but this is so incredibly hydrating. Now, considering I use a moisturizer and a hydrating primer, and I have oily skin, this does not make me get oily or shiny or I get a little bit glowy but part of that has to do with you know some of the highlight I do but I use a semi matte foundation and at no point in time do I feel greasy at all and that's from using multiple hydrating products on my face in the morning before I do my makeup. This primer is absolutely incredible. If you can find it on Mercari at a reasonable price, scoop that baby up. Um, it smells incredible. OMG. Um, it's got like a very tropical coconut smell to it. Oh yeah, you can smell it just right from here. It's it is a cream, but it's also kind of borderline a serum. So it's somewhat light. Oh, that smells so good. Um, you know, it's not thick, 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 but it's not quite as light as a serum either. Yeah, it just blends in beautifully. And it doesn't have like... As you can see, it doesn't have any like shiny or greasy or it just feels really silky and, and again, super hydrating. I absolutely love, like this is, I have tried so many different primers over the last year and I keep coming back to this Tarte Double Duty Base Tape Primer and it ends up being my go-to primer. Now, don't get me wrong, I do still put it aside and try new primers. But as of right now, I'm using it again. Um, I finished off another primer and I've pulled my Tarte primer back in and I've been using that um, along with my Lavi Lab skincare and everything. And um, I've just been loving, loving, loving it. Yes, yeah, sorry. Um, I am going to put it aside again soon because I did get a Dr. Brandt um, primer in one of my boxes. So my tart is going to get put aside for a minute so I can try out the Dr. Brandt primer. But um, I will always be keeping my Tarte primer in stock. So it definitely gets a five. Um, it ranks way up there on one of my all-time favorites and a definite go-to for me. Definitely. 
mm, more coffee. I also got some of my um, boxy add-ons the other day. I got some of the most gorgeous lippies. I am so, so excited. I got Too Faced um, Melted. Um, what are they called? The Melted Liquid Lips. And then I got um, two more of these. These are the Too Faced um, Shiny Glosses. I got two more of these. Actually, three more. Another one in this color, and then two other colors. So, yeah. Love them. Yeah. So, been enjoying my add-ons, and I have more add-ons coming. Woo! -hoo. Okay. Moving on. Got another Tarte product. Now, this is on... I believe this is on the newer end. Um, I haven't seen it before until um, it came out recently in one of the boxes. And when I saw that, I'm like, ooh, Mama's got to get that and try it. So I scooped it up on Mercari just to give it a try. But it's the, the Tarte Micellar Water. Now, this is a, oh, it's Micellar Magic by Tarte. And look at the packaging on the back. Isn't that so pretty? So this, um, it cleanses and tones all in one step. Makeup remover and cleanser. Use this mess-free, no-rinse, micellar cleansing water anytime, anywhere. Saturate a cotton pad and apply to skin on the go after the gym sesh or to remove that full face of makeup you worked so hard on. This baby cleanses without stripping your skin or making a mess of your sink. So, I know I've mentioned before, I am in love with the It Cosmetics Miracle Water, but um, I heard some good things about this, so I figured I'd give it a try. Now, when I use um, micellar waters and toner waters like this, I transfer them into a spray bottle. And generally, the way I use them is I will spray them on my face and moisten my face and then put my cleanser in my hand, rub my hands together, and rub my cleanser all over my face. So I initially start with a toner micellar water to moisten my face for my cleanser. And then after I finish cleansing and getting all my makeup off, um, I spray again with a toner micellar water and I use um, an, an exfoliating round, cotton round, and I wipe it all over my face after cleansing and it gets off any last makeup, which if I'm using a good cleanser, there shouldn't be any leftover makeup. Um, but, and, and it lightly exfoliates my skin and this works wonderfully. I do really, really like it. Um, it doesn't really have like a scent or anything to it, which I was kind of surprised. I mean, yeah, usually Tarte stuff has got that like coconutty um, tropical scent, but this one doesn't. Um, as far as rating it, this I'm going to give a four and a half. And I do that because four and a half. Um, I do really, really like it. Um, I like how it makes my skin feel. Um, I use it in the evening and in the morning. Um, in the morning, I use it to take off um, the moisturizer and stuff that I used the night before. Again, with an exfoliating cotton round. Um, but the only thing I don't like about it is like with my It Cosmetics Miracle Water, that does have anti-aging components to it and other benefits. Whereas this micellar water doesn't. So that is really 
the only reason why I'm not giving this a full five. Because I do really like it. Um, I, I don't mind about the fragrance. Um, normally, you know, to have a fragrance, um, it's usually ends up being a chemical additive. So, um, even though I am a fragrance person, I love me my smelly. I smell everything. Um, <laughs> but I don't mind that it doesn't have the fragrance to it, but because my miracle water which is my five that's my go-to um cleansing water because that does have the benefits of anti-aging and other components to it that's my five so i am only going to give this a four and a half now that may change down the road if i see that it does anything else for my skin but as of right now i do really really like it i do recommend it I think it's really good and um, it does take away any last makeup and stuff like that so it does work really well so it's a good thing I like it like it a lot okay now I have two more things okay I'm gonna do this first and I may not get to the last thing but honey Jarrett this we got in our Ipsy, and at first I didn't know what the heck it was. You open it up, it's got a little mirror inside, and I took the, there was a little pad here in it. Um, you flip this open, and there's like a cushion in there. Well, at first I didn't know what the heck it was. Um, <laughs> it was pretty funny. I made kind of a fool of myself, but I finally figured out this is a foundation. It's a semi-matte. So, um, it's got somewhat of a matte finish. It's more silky than it is. It's not dewy. It's not shiny. I mean, you can pretty much tell by my complexion. It's semi-matte. Um, it's not a full matte. But it does work really good with my um, oily skin. And it keeps it from getting overly greasy throughout the day and stuff like that. Now, this... Um, I wasn't sure about how the cover color was going to work out for me. This is Golden Honey, which is number three on their color scale. I am going to give this a five. Put that down there, five. I have literally gone on to the Honey Jarrett website because I couldn't find it anywhere else. And I've ordered two more of these. Mama is in love. Absolutely in love. This foundation is, it's a medium to full coverage. And it goes on incredibly it blends beautifully it is i use a makeup a foundation brush and i just you know i dab it in here i don't use the little compact thing that came with it um i just use my foundation brush i push it down and then i dab i just start by dabbing the area that i'm starting off with um and then i circular motions I blend it out and it blends out beautifully if I need to add a little more I just dab a little more blend it all out um it gives you the perfect amount to work in each section of your face to put it on blend it out and you can go back and add more without it getting cakey it feels so light and beautiful on your skin 
And again, I thought this color was going to be way too orangey and dark for me, but no, not at all. Look at that. When you push on it, this is what comes out. So you get a good amount of on your your brush um, when you push on it, but not too much. That's why I dab it first and spread it around. Now, once you put it on, look at how perfect that is. And then you blend it in. And it's just this incredible, silky finish. And like I said, it's completely buildable. It's not tacky. It's not... I am in love with this foundation. Absolutely love it. And I haven't, I have been hooked on the Doll 10 foundation. And I think the Doll 10 is like 45 or $50. And I just ordered another one of the Doll 10 last week. So I'm kind of bummed now. But, and these on the Honey Jarrett site, to $29. That is so much more affordable than some of the other foundations. I absolutely love this. Love it. And I just can't say enough good things. It is, and it it's working beautifully with my skincare routine that I've got going on. It just feels so incredible on my skin. And in addition to that, I don't feel like it, um, it like rubs off. It's, I feel like it's long wearing my, my makeup is staying really good throughout the day. So I don't have the need to keep fixing it and resetting it and stuff like that. It's awesome. 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 Definite five. I highly recommend this. If you can find it on Mercari, which it's been selling out on Mercari. Every time I see one go up, it sells. If you can find one on there, scoop it up just to try. Just give it a try. And you'll probably fall in love with it like I did. Now, I did bring this to do a review on but we're maxed out on time. So I will do a Friday first impression on that one next week. Um, that's two weeks in a row that um, I only got through four products because I'm just too chit chatty. I'm sorry. Okay, that is my Friday first impressions. Let me know what you think. And let me know if you've tried any of these products and you agree, you disagree. Um, yeah, let me know. I want to hear from you. Leave it down in the comments or let me know in the chat. So, yes, that is Friday First Impressions. I have so much fun doing this every Friday now. Thank you guys, as always, for coming to hang out with me. I appreciate it. So, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And, as always, I love you. Love you, love you, love you. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I will talk to y'all soon. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.